Hey agents, it's LZ789 with another build video. I want to show you my suicide bomber tank build. With this build you can just run up to enemies, uh, get them on fire, and you can trigger that multiple times. It's a really fun build. So what you need, you need to have the firewall specialization. And this is the start of the show. Um, on armor break, apply burn to enemies within 5 meters. That's disabled in PvP, but in PvE this is enabled, and when your armor breaks, it will apply burn to all nearby enemies. Also with the build you get the striker shield, where you can use the flamethrower uh, while using the shield. Uh, your armor kits have uh, armor repair, and uh, you get 20% burn duration, so yeah, most of these talents are really good. But this one is the most imp important, on armor break apply burn to the enemies. So yeah, let's show the builds. So with the build, we're using the uh, flamethrower, the firewall. Um, yeah, it's really fun because you just run up to enemies, let them break your armor, and then everybody gets on fire. You will see in the gameplay later uh, how I use this. Then on it, I also use a Scorpio shotgun with shotgun damage, damage to armor, and damage to target out of cover. If you don't have that third attribute, I will link a video in the description how to get that third attribute. And this one comes with a septic shock. Shooting a target applies a stack of venom, which lasts for 10 seconds. Increasing your stacks adds more severe debuffs to the target. At 1 you get poison, then disoriented, 6 is shock, 7 is uh, target takes additional 20% damage from all sources, but the stack no longer uh, decreases. The ratio of status effects is based on the percentage of pellets hit on applying shots. So if you get that 7th uh, stage, the target will take 20% more damage, and that's also including the fire damage from your uh, firewall specialization. So this one's really good. You can also try the, the iron lung, this one, which applies fire to the enemies. This one's also really good, but my, the Scorpio shotgun is my favorite. Then also I use the shield splinterer with assault rifle damage, health damage, and damage to the target out of cover with the perfect optimist. This is also not really important, you can use any gun, uh, the Pyromaniac for example. But I like this gun because it just does good damage, 40% extra damage. Yeah, it's really nice. And also I have the Carved Custom, the TDI Carved Custom with pistol damage, skill tier. Also with Optimist. Um, you only get that skill tier when you have the pistol equipped, so it's not always uh, active, the skill tier. But it's, it's nice to have, because it's also a tank build, we have like 1.7 million armor. So, an extra skill tier is pretty nice. Then I have a Eclipse Protocol uh, mask. And if you have two pieces of Eclipse Protocol, you get 15% status effect. Um, I have a core attribute for armor. I put on status effect and protection from elites. Then for the chest piece, I'm using the zero apps with the shotgun damage. That shotgun damage is useful with the Scorpio, so it's not wasted. You can also... Um, Use the normal unbreakable talent, but this one is a perfectly unbreakable. When your armor is depleted, repair 100% of your armor uh, with the cooldown of 55 seconds. And if you have the normal unbreakable, you will uh, repair your armor to 95% with a 60 second cooldown. So this one makes the cooldown a little bit shorter. And it's really good because when your armor breaks with the firewall, you put everybody on, on fire, but um, you get your armor back with this chest piece. That, that's why this is really good. You can trigger that uh, armor break talent like two or three times. Uh, one time, then you trigger your perfectly unbreakable, then everybody's on fire. If they break it again, uh, everybody gets on fire again. And then also we have the revive hive, so you can trigger it like three times. It's, it's crazy. Then also we're using the... Oh, this one has, uh, by the way, uh, armor, armor regen and status effect, and 30% protection from elites. Mainly focusing on status effects to make the burn last longer, but also so a bit of armor regen so it protects your armor. Uh, and once you have a little bit of regen, you can trigger it again because they break your uh, armor that you regen, and you can trigger the explosion again. Then also we're using the the courier backpack from the Hasberg with headshot damage. It's not really important, but the talent is really good. The core attribute is armor, armor regen, status effect, and protection from elites. This one has the perfect creeping death. When you apply a status effect, it is also applied to all nearby enemies within 10 meters of your target with a 10 second cooldown. You can also use a normal creeping death, but uh, this one increases the radius and uh, decreases the cooldown. So that's why I like the courier. Like the quicker we can get our stuff back, 
the, this talent back and this talent back, the quicker we can apply the fire again. So I think the cooldowns is really important. Then I have an electric um, glove with status effects. I have a core attribute for armor, status effects and armor regen. If you don't have this electric, you can also try the golden gear. This one, for example. This one also comes with status effects. But uh, this one will do as well. Then I have one more Eclipse Protocol uh, knee pad with armor and status effects. And this one is also really important, the Imperial Dynasty holster with one skill tier status effect and hazard protection. And it comes with the Dragon's Glare talent. While in combat, apply burn to the enemies closest to you within 20 meters with a 35 second cooldown. So if you just run into a group of enemies, you will trigger this uh, uh, holster talent, putting one enemy on fire, but you also have the creeping that so you put everybody in 10 meters on fire. And then uh, once your armor breaks, uh, you get your armor back, but then the firewall gives, uh, gets everybody on fire. And yeah, it's crazy. You just keep putting everybody on fire. Yeah, you're basically a suicide bomber uh, from the outcast. And also I have a striker, ballistic shield. This one you get uh, by playing the firewall uh, specialization. It's at skill tier 6 because we have armor on all uh, cores and we have a skill tier. So that's why it's at skill tier 6. Active regen, shield health, holster regen, buff strength, um, extra shield health, active regen, and damage bonus. Th this shield is special because, um, let me see, uh, if you go close to an enemy, you have a cone in front of you, and enemies inside of that cone take extra damage. And with the last uh, mod in here, you increase that damage by 5%. So, it, yeah, it's really good. The buff is now at 12% per enemy. If multiple enemies are in the cone in front of you, yeah, it's 12% per enemy. So the shield's really good for the damage. Then a revive hive with two charges, with the revive, armor repair, range, and health. So, yeah, once your armor breaks, uh, you use your unbreakable. If that one is still inactive and you go down, you put everybody on fire again, and then your revive picks you up. Yeah, it's, so, it's really fun, this build. Basically a suicide bomber. Okay, let's go over the stats really quick. The septic shock, perfect, optimist, optimist. The flamethrower, weapon damage, PvP damage, crit chance low, crit damage low. I'm mainly focusing on status effects. Headshot, armor, health, reload speed, ammo capacity. These are the stats. The gear talents, dragon's glare, eclipse protocol. Electric. Yeah, we have almost uh, 1.8 million armor. Armor regen. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fun. I will show you some gameplay now on how to use the build. You basically just want to run into a group of enemies, get them on fire, kill them. Then uh, that's how to use the build. Hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. And yeah, LSD 789 out. Civilians in danger. Yeah.
Reinforcements incoming. Enforcements incoming. Detecting additional hostile contact.
In route. Let's go. Incoming hostiles detected. Additional hostile contacts. Incoming hostiles detected. 
detected. Kill them and take any supplies you find! Who damn around him! Taking the Viewpoint Museum away from True Sons will make it a lot harder for them to coordinate their troops and spread misinformation. All communications coming in and out of the building will be controlled from the production studio on the top floor. So you'll need to find it and secure it. Intercepted. This is Wade. So, the division thinks they can just come in here. They don't know who they're fucking with. Go dark. Wait for the signal, then corner and kill.
Electromagnetic charge detected. here that must have been Wade would have been nice to bag him but he's not your primary objective get to the TV studio and get these guys off the air for good
control module. It handles all communications going in and out of viewpoint. If you reset it, you'll lock out the true suns and we can take over the channels. Okay, stay by the module and make sure it completes the reset sequence. are reset to default or under direct SHD control. That's good to hear. Our comms are coming online and the true suns are in the dark. Fluctuations in local power detected. Communications facilities offline. What the hell? I'm seeing multiple hostiles on the roof. They're setting up EMP jammers around the radio mast. It's Wade. He's trying to sabotage the mast. Without it, no one can broadcast from viewpoint. Agent, get to the roof. You gotta stop him from taking out the mast. Electromagnetic charge detected. Wade is using EMP jammers to overload the radio mast. Take them out before the mast is destroyed. System curtailed. System. You will be able to use shape tech as long as that EMP jammer is active. Take it out. Structural integrity at 75%. Agent, you've got to stop Wade. We need that radio. System malfunctioning. Get off me! Take that! System back online. Electromagnetic charge depleted. Vital signs critical. True Sons just lost a powerful tool for coordinating their troops and spouting their horse shit. Once we get the radio mast repaired and operational, we can extend the reach of our own broadcasts.